Before I even start this video, I'm showing you this picture, guys. Me and my wife with JDF. That was the day that I met this man. And honestly, so many emotions are going through me right now. But I feel that many of you also share the same emotion as I do. So as you can see, guys, that was a little... I wanted to show you guys um, that I have JDF in my, in my office. Uh, he's always there. Um, he definitely means so much to me. He will always mean so much to me. And as I'm actually recording this, you're probably thinking, why Why are you making a video about this right now? I, I just want to talk. And uh, I know a lot of you are probably feeling the same way as I do. Uh, no music in the background. I, I really care for minimal editing right here. Uh, I'm fighting back tears. I, I truly am. Uh, because the more I think about it, the more sad I am. Uh, and uh, all I can say is, guys... Um, make sure you reach out to those, to those friends of yours. The ones that you think are okay may just need to be some, some checking in on, you know, check in on your friends. That's the first and for, first and foremost thing I want to say here. Check on your people, check on your own, make sure they're okay. It's never okay to ignore someone. If they're your so-called friends, talk to them. Reach out to them. It's always important. But without further ado, guys, let me go ahead and get into what I want to say. It's, it's difficult, hard to believe that this man is no longer with us. Having so many projects coming in, you know, for him, the Lotus of the White Dragon or the Legacy of the White Dragon. Uh, was his biggest one. The man who always had a smile for his fans, gave money to the poor. He may have had marital problems. He was human at the end of the day, guys. And I know for a lot of us, he was a hero. He represented the 90s so well. He gave us so many good times. He meant so much to us, every one of us that are fans of him. And uh, I got to say, I really am glad to have said that I met this man. I'm not the best judge of character. I'm not. But when I was able to meet him, he was nothing but humble, nothing but nice. Spoke to me. I was, okay, let me give you some context here. That picture I was taken at a convention. He was the first Power Ranger I met. And... Along with my wife, I was so nervous. I had all these collectible things. And yes, I did pay for the signatures and whatnot. But he was more than willing to sign more than what I paid for. And those things are the dearest things. One of, among the dearest things I hold to this day. He spoke to me as, as a buddy would. You know, and to me that's special. You know, him especially, you know, he he knows what a lot of us, what, what he meant to a lot of us. And I'm sorry that I, I, sound, I sound like I don't know what I'm saying here, but it is hard to speak with a, with a broken heart. <laughs> it really is. But um, he definitely made me comfortable. He made me look forward to meeting other people in conventions and talking more normally, I was very hard for me to speak and um, in front of like celebrities because I didn't know how it would be. And so I'm glad he was the first person that I was able to meet like that and actually talk to him. And uh, to me, he will always be one of the best celebrities, people that I've ever gotten the chance to meet. And what he did for the Power Ranger franchise, let's let's just say this, okay? Because I don't want to sound repetitive with it. He is the only one who was with the franchise the longest. And 
No one will ever outdo him when it comes to that. We know that. You could say what you want with every about every other person that was part of the franchise, but this man was there the longest. He was one of the most beloved. I'm not going to say the be- most beloved, but he was one of the most beloved. And to have him no longer with us is a tragedy, and it'll be difficult moving on. And looking back on some of the stuff, I will always treasure it more than I did before. Um, And I love this man. We all love this man. Uh, We all care for him. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Overall, thank you for everything that you've given us uh, as fans, as people. What you did uh, as a Power Ranger, as an actor, Um, and as a person in general, you know, a legacy you've left behind for us, a person who was very caring of others. Yes, there was some, you know, issues that we all had, uh, issues with both, you know, real life and mentally that we all go through, and we all sought this man as our, our strength sometimes, you know. Some of us would see the Power Rangers show and, We would see it as one of the best things ever, and those were our heroes, and he was one of them. And he will forever be a hero for us, a leader, a friend, someone that we will always care for, who was part of the franchise. And, and, you know, just personally, I I really, really just, I'm going to miss him. I I hate saying this. I I sound repetitive here, but I I will miss him. A lot of the times... I wanted to speak more about Power Rangers on this channel, and I hate having to do it this way. We've lost a lot of Rangers throughout the years, but this is the one that I think has hurt the most, most recently. The OG cast to me, as you guys may or may not know, is the most beloved cast in my heart. I love the OG cast. I love all those Rangers, all of them. I I truly, truly love. But, you know, now it's, it's JDF's time. You know, an unfortunate time it be, but it is what it is. And so we have to stay strong, all of us fans, all of us who are care for this man. And remember that what he gave for us will never be forgotten, will never be replaced. And remember always, like I said, to check on your on your friends, on your family, because you never know. You just never know what someone's going through. The the one the battles we don't see are the ones that are the hardest sometimes, and this is definitely one that we'll all be fighting for, and we'll always be caring for him. But we must also care for our others as well. But guys, that is it. Please, as I always say, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I hope to see you all in the next one.